it's me again just jessica and today i'm going to do a tag video so first off i have to give the credit because i didn't find i didn't make this tag i was watching a bigger youtuber her name is smoky glow and i don't care for her rant videos too much but i do like her videos when she does her yas or pas so i was watching one of her videos and it was a tag video and it's a 21 questions makeup tag i am tagging three friends of mine Lori latimer um chelsea ganey and barbara's beauty bag to answer these questions so let's start off with these questions okay okay so the first question is what is the oldest makeup product in your collection okay so my oldest one is this Too Faced Life's a Festival? <laughs> um, I didn't. I, I really like it. You can see that I hit almost hit pan on one. I've I've dented them. Yes, I've dented them. They've got some duochromes, which I really like. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I got this a few years ago, like right when it came out. And that's my oldest one I have here in this collection. Okay, so what's question two? What's your most recent makeup purchase okay my most recent makeup purchase is the eyeliner the eye gloss and this beautiful shade it's like a blue violet it's blue purple kind of multi-chrome from pat mcgrath i think it's called um uh, yeah i think it was called the dark star or something <coughs> and i do not regret it okay so question number three what is your first makeup product you ever used? Okay, the first product I ever used, I think it was like 15. My mom bought me this big box for Christmas. It was a huge ass box. It was a red door from Elizabeth Arden. And you opened it and it had like a whole bunch of eyeshadows, mascaras, blushes. It had like everything. Wands and eyeliners and lip liners and lipsticks and... <coughs> so those that box was the first product i ever had so it was a mix of a whole bunch of things but it was elizabeth arden and i still like elizabeth arden a lot and i love red door too okay number four what makeup trend did you used to love but now you hate okay i never did this when it was out because i just don't have the hands for it i just didn't trust myself but i still hate it I hate the skinny ass little tiny eyebrows that people draw. It looks just like a straight marker line. I can't stand it. I like the more natural and now they have like the trend that's kind of bushy where you kind of comb it up. And you got to make a hairstyle out of your eyelash, eyebrows and stuff. I like that. I don't like uh, the little pencil ones. Another one I didn't like is like the lip liner just straight like the lip liner and nothing else on it it looks like you uh your lipstick came off and the lip the line is what's left <laughs> that's just my opinion okay number five what is the trend you used to hate but now you love i is drawing the eyebrows i didn't do mine today but i do like to have like the nice clean with my brow pomade i like to have that and so yeah that's what i that's what i really love now and i used to not care for it but i like the blood it's number six what is your favorite step in your makeup routine setting spray because it's refreshing i can do it uh as i'm doing my my foundation and then i do it with my concealer and then i'll do it with my eyeshadow and throughout the day i'll do it just to freshen up i love setting spray it's my favorite routine okay number seven what makeup product can you not live without mascara i have to have mascara otherwise i look like a little fish eyes like i ain't got no hairs or nothing number eight what sparked your love for makeup mm, i guess watching my mom do it when i was younger she has very beautiful blue eyes and she used to wear black eyeliner and black mascara she's more of a neutral babe now um and the 80s the 80s when you would watch like um you know just 
just people in the 80s like Prince and Madonna and all of them. Cyndi Lauper. You know, that's where I started waking up my interest for makeup. Okay, what, number nine, what is your favorite makeup look you've ever done? Okay, the, my favorite one I've ever done was my drag queen look. And the next one is, and I, I did tutorial from Trixie Mattel on that one. And number nine was, what is your worst makeup, uh, number 10, what is your worst makeup look you've ever done? And for me, that is definitely when I tried to do the animation from The Corpse Bride. I didn't like it at all. I, I told it was a flop. Okay, it was just a flop. Okay, number 11. Ooh, what is your favorite drugstore makeup product? Okay, I got it right here. Absolutely. When it's empty, I go get another one. And that's the Believe Beauty from Dollar General Foundation. Because to me, it's, um, it cover, it has coverage. You can build up to make it like a total coverage. Um, but it feels like a second skin and it's only $5. It's got a really nice, heavy, fancy component. That's my favorite drugstore makeup product. Okay. Let me flip the pages now. Okay, next. What is your favorite splurge makeup? Okay. Duo chromes, multi chromes. Chromes, that's like my thing lately. Um, it used to be shimmers, but when I got, like, started dabbing to the chromes, that's it. That's it from there. I, that's all I want to do. Okay, so next one. What is your most repurchased makeup product? repurchase okay i wouldn't say any specific eyeliner but i would definitely say eyeliner and i like the zola lashes um eyeliner glue that way you can just do your wing and hop the lashes on top without any mess up with glue and it stays perfectly good all day i like to get that so let's see what is your earliest Okay, what's your most favorite? Okay, free purchase. What is your earliest makeup memory? Uh, my earliest makeup memory was when my brother, he used to be kind of like a folk dancer. He was in a gothic crowd. I must have been like 13 or something. He was about 15 or 16 at the time. And he loved The Cure. And so he would put like his lipstick on all crooked and his white face and his black eye and you know, his hair would be out to here. And that's my first makeup memory. And so, of course, your girl tried to copy your brother and that didn't work out great. But that's like my first memory. Okay, what is your favorite place to shop for makeup? Online. Like really, if it has to be a store... Then it would be Ulta because I have Ulta here. It's pretty okay. It used to be better, honestly. It's kind of like getting a little, like, they're taking things out. And, and a lot of it's just really boring. Um, but, you know, they do have some things. But in on the internet is a place for me to shop. All I gotta do is go on Instagram and scroll and I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Add to your cart. Okay, so okay so here's the next one what's your most underrated makeup product that you own the most underrated okay it's cheap it don't cost you can get it at a hair store i really really like i got this for like three or four dollars at the hair store it's a mood lipstick a green one just like they had back in the 80s and depending on how hot or cold you are, the color changes. Like on my lips, it would be a lot more fuchsia. So if I kind of can't decide what kind of makeup I want, it's that one. I also have some mood lipsticks from Wish. They do the same things. They have the flower on the inside. It's clear. And it too leaves. It gets darker with every minute. Right now it's kind of like a shine finish but it does get darker and so it's kind of like it looks kind of that's underrated is mood lipstick i really like mood lipsticks once in a while okay <clears throat> what is the most overrated <sighs> i to me the most overrated is tart 
they are so boring the house tart is boring the house that is to me that's just my personal opinion um now the mascaras are great the mascaras are wonderful but when it comes to palettes it's like can you guys get some more ideas because this is just boring okay you have a brown palette beautiful you have a brown palette with a red shade okay you have a brown palette with a green shade it's just to me it's boring same goes for a lot of morphe palettes they all fucking look the same okay so what is a discontinued makeup product that you wish to come back hmm damn i know a hair product right away but a makeup product um i really can't think of any a makeup product i wish i could come back because none of them have left me none of them have so i really can't say anything on that because i don't know of any that have left me that i know of so okay i might have to get back to that okay 18 where do you go for makeup inspiration on instagram or tiktok definitely on instagram and tiktok there's a lot of beautiful beautiful before and afters uh women i just i can't compare myself they are just outstanding they're they're like real artists have like the freaking u-boats and fish coming out of their eyelashes and shit like that um but you know it's really kind of nice to see tricks and stuff so i like to go to those okay okay this is question number 19 what do you hope to see less of in the makeup future filters how about that i want to see less filters i want to see the real deal okay 20 what do you hope to see more of the real fucking deal i want to see people how they look how do you freaking look i don't want to see these filters these cameras and these editings and these perfect this and this perfect that i want to see real people i want to see people that are like my neighbor my neighbor looks gorgeous just the way she is i'm going to ask her where she got her shit i'm not going to ask someone who's done edited their pictures <laughs> like really so fake have you ever seen those inform overload videos on youtube where they show like like reality versus you know instagram versus reality and shit like that that's what i'm talking about i want to see regular people that look great i don't want to see a picture that looks great okay last question do i have a last question no, i think that's all i think that was it oh that was it so what makeup i wish would come back is i really i really just can't say i can't but i would like to see some more of a machino collection that's what i would like because machino came out with that little cute teddy bear i have a sephora palette that looks like a tablet i have that um I like, I want to see more Machino shit. Okay, so anyways, please, I'm going to put the channel links from the ladies that I have tagged down in the description box below. I really hope, um, I'm pretty sure they're going to do this. Um, I really hope you just go check out their channel in the next few days when they upload theirs. And um, yeah, thanks for watching my video and letting me share my opinions. And ladies and men.